From this lecture, we are going to learn about the basics of JavaScript. We are going to learn about variables, data types, operators, functions, etc. And let's start this lecture by understanding what are variables in JavaScript. Variables are the fundamental concept of any programming language. A variable is like a named storage in which we can store a value. And this named storage can be used over and over again in our code instead of writing the value each time we want to use it. And in JavaScript, we can create a variable using let or const keyword. So let's go to VS Code. And here I have created a new JavaScript project. In this project, we have three files, index.html, script.js and style.css. In the index.html file, you will see that we have written some HTML. It is a very simple HTML. Basically, I have added an H3 element. So this content here, it is coming from this H3 element and I have an H1 element. So this section name here, it is coming from that H1 element. And in the style.css, I have written some CSS in order to design this page. Again, this CSS is very simple. You can go through it and you will understand what I'm doing here. Finally, we have this script.js file where we are going to write all our JavaScript code for this section. Okay, so I will share this startup project with you. I will share the link of this startup project in the description and you can download it and you can start practicing whatever you're going to learn from this lecture. All right, now let's go ahead and let's create a variable. So as I mentioned, for creating a variable, we can use either let keyword or const keyword. So first, let's create a variable using let keyword. And let's call this variable maybe username. So here we are creating a variable. This is called as variable declaration. Here we have declared a variable. And once a variable is declared, you can assign a value to it. So we can say username equals maybe John. So this line here, it is variable declaration. And this line here, it is called as variable initialization because we are initializing a value to a variable. Now we can also declare and initialize a variable in the same line. So what I can do is I can say let username. So here I have declared the variable equal to John. So in the same line, I'm also assigning a value to a variable. So here we are doing declaration and initialization in the same line. Now, when we are assigning this value to this variable, this variable is going to store this value. And now wherever we want to use this value there, instead of specifying this value, we can simply use this variable name. For now, what I want is I want to log the value of username. So for that, we can use this console.log statement. And if you remember, this console.log statement is going to log the value which we are passing to it in the developer console. Now here it is going to log the value stored in this username variable. So if we save the changes, you will see the value stored in this username variable has been logged here in the developer console. So this username, it is storing a value and what value it is storing? It is storing this value John. So in this way, we can create a variable using let keyword. Then we can also create a variable using const keyword. And when we use const keyword to create a variable, we basically create a constant. So for example, let's say we want to create a variable pi. And to this, we want to assign the value 3.14. So here we are creating a constant. This pi variable, it is storing this value 3.14 and it is storing a constant value. Its value cannot be changed. Here, when I have assigned this username, this value John, letter, if I want, I can go ahead and I can change its value. So I can reassign a new value to this username variable. For example, mark. And now if I save the changes, you will see that when we are trying to log the value of username, it is logging mark because now this username variable is storing this value mark. But when we create a variable using const keyword, that variable's value cannot be changed throughout the program. So now if I try to assign pi with some other value, let's say 4, it should throw us an error. If I save the changes, you see we have an error. And it says assignment to a constant variable is not allowed. So basically this pi here, it is constant. 
we have assigned it with the value 3.14 so it is always going to store the same value we cannot change its value because it is a constant so using const keyword we create a constant variable whose value cannot be changed one more thing you need to remember is that when you create a variable using const keyword you need to initialize it in the same line you cannot declare it first and then let her initialize it this is not possible with const you need to assign this const variable with the value during the declaration itself so here when you are creating this variable pi when you are creating this constant pi once it is created in the same line only you have to assign it with the value like this so this let and const these are the two new keywords which is introduced in the modern version of javascript it was introduced in es6 version of javascript now we have not talked about the different versions of javascript yet but we are going to talk about it in great detail in one of the future lectures of this course but just understand that this let and const it was introduced in the es6 version of javascript and before es6 version we had es5 version of javascript in es5 version of javascript we cannot use let and const to create a variable then how we were creating a variable in es5 version there we were using var keyword to create a variable for example var name equals something so we can also use var keyword in the latest versions of javascript so it is still there but in the latest versions of javascript we rarely use this var keyword we use let and const keyword to create variables we rarely use this var keyword in the modern javascript to create variables but in one of the lectures we will talk about the difference between the var keyword and let and const keyword okay also you can create multiple variables in the same line using single let or const keyword so for example let's say i use this let keyword here and now i want to create multiple variables for example i want to create name equals mary then i want to create this age variable let's say 28 and i want to create this gender variable let's say male okay so here you see using a single let keyword we are creating multiple variables but declaring multiple variables in a single line is not recommended for better readability use a single line for each variable declaration for example we can create variables like this so instead of declaring multiple variables in the same line we are declaring them in different lines so that it is more readable and the code is clearer and what you can also do is if you like that single line approach then you can declare it something like this so you created this variable name use comma now instead of creating the variable here in the same line just press enter give a tab and then create the age variable let's assign 28 to it again let's use comma then let's create another variable gender and let's assign a value to it maybe male so in this way also you can create variables using single let keyword but separating them in different lines so this code is also more readable right now it is also possible to change the value of a variable once it is declared and initialized for example let's create a variable let's call this variable country and let's assign it with a value maybe usa so here we are declaring a variable and we are initializing it with this value usa later if we want we can change the value of this variable so we can say country equals maybe uk so this is also possible and this is called as variable mutation here we are mutating the value of this country variable previously it was storing usa now we are changing its value to uk what we can also do is we can create another variable let's say con and to this let's assign a value uk and now to this country variable we can assign the value stored in coun variable so this coun variable it is storing this value uk so that value we are assigning to this country variable so now this country variable it is going to store the value uk so to test that let's go ahead and let's log the value of country variable okay let me comment this console.log statement and for commenting you can use double slash like this and it will comment that code and a commented code cannot be executed 
we will talk about it later now let's save the changes and you will see that uk is logged here when we are logging country so that means country is storing this value uk so we can create a variable using let or const keyword now as i mentioned when we create a variable using const keyword we cannot change its value so what we can do with let keyword here what we are doing is to this country variable we are assigning the value stored in this coun variable but if i use const here now this country is a constant its value cannot be changed it is storing this usa later we are trying to assign this country with the value stored in this coun variable but here we will get an error if i save the changes you see we have an error because this country is a constant so we cannot change its value but if we use let keyword instead of const we will not have that error so you can use const keyword whenever you want to create a variable whose value you are not going to change in the future otherwise if you know that there is some variable whose value can change in the future then you can create that variable using let keyword now here we are providing some name for the variable so, so for example here we are calling the variable username here we are calling this constant variable pi here we have created three variables name age and gender so these are the name of the variables now while naming the variable you need to know the rules before naming your variable for example in javascript a variable name can only contain letters digits underscores and dollars it cannot contain any other special character it cannot contain equal to or it cannot contain pound sign or anything it can only contain letters digits underscore and dollar and the first character of a variable name must not be a digit it must not start with a digit it can start with a letter it can start with an underscore or it can start with a dollar sign but it should not start with number and also javascript variable names are case sensitive and you cannot use reserved keywords as a variable name let's understand all this with an example so here let's give a comment now let's create a variable using let keyword and your variable name can contain letters let's say first it can contain underscore then name then it can contain dollar and it can contain digits any other special character is not allowed for example if i try to use percentage here it is not allowed you will immediately see this red squiggly showing that here we have an error so if i save the changes you will see that we have an error unexpected token percentage because percentage is not allowed in variable name only two special characters are allowed and that is underscore and dollar also your variable name should not start with the digit so you cannot create a variable like one name because here your variable name is starting with a digit that is not allowed so here you will see that we have an error if i save the changes it says invalid or unexpected token because a variable name cannot start with a digit it can start with an underscore so this is a valid variable name it can start with dollar so this is also a valid variable name but it should not start with a digit also a variable called name and another variable again let's call it name but here you notice that in this name variable this n is in uppercase and this n is in lowercase so these two are different variables okay now here we have this error because here also we have created this name variable let me actually comment this code so now you will see that that error is gone so this name variable it is different from this name variable okay these two are different variables they are not same variables because javascript variable names are case sensitive so a variable name called name which is starting with uppercase n is different from a variable name which is starting with a lowercase n so in javascript variable names are case sensitive and finally you cannot use reserved keywords as a variable name for example you cannot use const as a variable name because this const is a reserved keyword here if i save the changes you will have an error an expected token const because this const is a reserved keyword here you see this const we are using to create constants so it is a reserved keyword you cannot use it like a variable name in the same way we have another reserved keyword called while so this also you cannot use 
as a variable name. So any reserved keyword of JavaScript cannot be used as a variable name. You need to keep all these points in mind while creating a variable. And how can we create a variable? We create a variable using let or const keyword. We use const keyword to create a variable with constant value. And we use let keyword to create a variable whose value can later be changed. We can also use this var keyword to create a variable and this var keyword was used in the older versions of JavaScript to create a variable. And as I said, we will talk about this var keyword and the difference between the var and let and const. So this is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.